hello <laughs> i don't even know how to start this i've been like i don't know i was gonna i was gonna film yesterday and then again i just didn't know how to start it because i've just not i know it's only been a couple of weeks but i just feel so like i don't know it feels very very weird picking up the camera so anyway i'm here um first of all i'd like to say thank you ever so much for all the lovely comments and messages that i received um asking if i was okay i am okay um, I just had a little bit of a um, breakdown when it came to, I, I was just stressed about his finances, you know, that that's what was really like incredibly stressful. I know we're all in the, in this, you know, in the same boat or similar boats, maybe not all in exactly the same boat, but, um, but there's people a lot worse off than me. There's people going through much, much tougher times than I'm going through, including um, some of you guys. I know some of you are going through the most horrendous of things. Um, but yeah, basically, I was just really stressed. Um, and I just thought, I don't know, the way I'll deal with stress and, and upset is to just hide away. So that's what I did. Um, as you know, I came off... Um, Facebook a little like just before that um, and I ended up just like not even bothering with my phone I even turned it off at some points um, until um, my niece Ivy got quite poorly and ended up going to hospital she's okay um, but so for that reason I did keep my phone on but otherwise I didn't have any contact with anybody just kind of hid away but anyway I'm back now um, so hello it's Monday isn't it I think it's half past 10. Um, I've got into a better routine. I'm getting up in the mornings. In fact, I'm getting up probably a bit too early. I was up at half past five yesterday and actually took the dog out at quarter to six. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Blabbered on for like nearly three minutes now. I am going to Morrison's. Um, I haven't been shopping for a little while actually. So really are desperate. The fridge and freezer are pretty much empty. Um, so yeah, I'll do a little haul when I get back. Hope you're all keeping well as well. Um, right, let's go. And I'm back from Morrison's. It's now five to 12. Do you know what? Like Morrison's seems to have just like really relaxed the rules. It's almost as if people are like, uh, sorry, I can't be bothered anymore. Let's just carry on. And it's like, like when you go in, like you're not having to queue anymore unless it was just, I don't know. It wasn't that. I don't know maybe it just wasn't that busy um but yeah there was no queuing just straight in and they used to take your trolley off you and um disinfect it and they just didn't do that today they were stood there next to the disinfectant um but nobody actually like took your trolley um although when i was at the checkout to pay um there was someone going around like cleaning the um like disinfecting the card readers so but I don't know, like it just seems to have really slipped since I was last in there. But anyway, I've been and disinfected my hands. Um, so let's do a little haul. First of all, beers. You're not actually going to believe this, but I haven't really been drinking recently. Um, I don't drink when I'm sad. I only drink when I'm happy. So, um, or stressed or whatever. Um, I mean, I don't drink when I'm stressed. I only drink when I'm happy and content. Um, and as I'm feeling a bit better now, I fancy a beer. Of course I do. Um, so first of all, and then we got some strawberries, raspberries, and kiwis, potatoes, spinach, uh, flatbreads. Excuse me. What are you doing? Peppers we're gonna have to heat as one night, and then we're gonna have um, chicken skewers one night, which is something that I used to do all the time, but haven't done for ages. Pack of eight bacon frazzles. Matthew's um, plain grilled steak. Well, we've got one packet of them. Well, a six pack of them. Because um, they're, they're the most expensive. These ones are a pound for eight packets. So, mind you, we'll probably eat like four in one go. Knowing us. Um, I got me... I bloody love these. So, I've prepped myself. Oh, I love them. They haven't had them in for the last few times I've been. <laughs> So we're going to watch a film one night um, this week. Um, so I got me them and I got Matthew a bag of Doritos over there. Some brioche buns. Got two packets of them. One will go in the freezer and one will stay out. 
some chocolate puddings. They were on sale, on offer. Matthew's flavoured water. Got two of them. He not he usually just drinks water, but he's got really into flavoured water recently, which probably isn't great for his teeth. But there we go. What was that banging? What was it? Um, sweet chilli hummus, it's two for two pounds and I haven't had hummus for ages either and I've really just had a massive urge for it these last few days, so there we go. Coffee, Yorkshire puddings, you know we like our Yorkshire puds. Now this is a bit extravagant, um, but I got us a steak because that was Matthew's request when I was asking him last night, I was like, what can we have to eat? Everything's so like boring and he said he fancied steak, so there we go, got that. Cookies for Matt. Sausages, that was two for whatever the offer was. So I've got two of them. Put one in the fridge and one in the freezer. Chicken. Um, yeah, I'm going to individually freeze them. Little mini corn on the cobs. They're 80p then and they're bloody lovely. Fajitas. Didn't have any Morrison's own. They don't have like, I've said this before, but they don't have any, like all the cheaper brand stuff or the supermarket's own brand stuff just goes so quick so it's just all the expensive stuff i'm like everything's branded and it's so bloody expensive um and then i got um these little chicken um flavor bag things this is the flavoring that i used to use for the chicken skewers so i just i've got some wooden skewers in the drawer um you soak the skewers and then I flavor the chicken and peppers i cut peppers up um in this flavoring and then i've Pop, pop them on the skewers and put them in the oven for 10 minutes and then I got this sweet chilli chicken not sweet chilli flavour and then this peri peri flavour one they're just good to have in um, again we used to have these all the time but I just kind of forgot about them so I thought I'd give them a go again I got some beautiful flowers which I will show you in a second some more crisps some um, crisp bread breads there for hummus as well. I'm gonna have some soon because I am hungry. Some pan of chocolate for that. Biscuits. Oh, some squashed brioche buns. Dime bag cake. Uh, there, what I got for Matt for our movie night. Some lettuce for fajitas. And finally, is it finally? Yes. Yeah. Some yogurts. Right, that's everything. I'm gonna pop this all away now. Okay, shopping is finally put away. I just wanted to show you these lovely, beautiful flowers that um, came as a complete surprise um, from Vicky and Candy, um, which was so, so lovely. Really, really unexpected. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd show you them. Here they are. That's our spaghetti bolognese that's defrosting there um and then i've got this lovely card off them um which yeah it's just so so lovely one of the things that i have been doing um this vlog should be just called vlogging from the kitchen shouldn't it uh, one of the things i have been doing last week um to just keep my mind occupied um and just because i wanted to do it was um i gave the backyard a little mini makeover now it's it's a tiny little backyard a lot of you have seen it before um it is also shared it's a bit complicated because it's like um, I'll show you when we go out but like parts of it is registered to next door parts of it is registered to me and then part of it is just unregistered land um so I've just got a, I used to have full use of the yard because the lady that used to own the house wasn't bothered about it so I used to use it all but then when they bought the house they said that they wanted like their bit back so I had to like move my stuff so now there's this like corner that just gets used for putting they're shitting basically they had the wheelie bins there for a little bit um but they have moved that now but so there's nothing i can do about that unfortunately but i'll show you what i have done um it's all on a, a budget of course you all right chilling chilling like a villain so here we are put me outdoor lights on just for effect so this um bench i had for years I painted that and decoupaged it and I was gonna get rid of it and then I thought I used to have a big table and chairs here which wasn't really being used and it was quite cluttered also meant I couldn't have my plant stand out because there wasn't really room for it 
So I thought, well, I'll put all that away. So that's what I did. I still have my table and chairs, which are in here. This is also something I did. I like rearranged this shed because this was absolutely jam packed full of rubbish and it still is, but I just organized it a little bit better. Mind out, nurse. So yeah, there's my little, little corner. I have painted this plant stand black. Um, this was cream before, it used to be sage green at one point, and then I painted it cream and now I've painted it black. And I did the same for this plant stand here, this was all rusty. So I just already had the black paint because originally when I did that cream, I was going to do it black and then change my mind. So I was lucky there, I had the paint. Um, so I did that. This table was actually, this wooden bit on top was um, originally a bath mat. Um, before I had my bathroom redone about five years ago, I was going to have it all rustic themed and then I got got this but then decided that isn't what I wanted to do so but I kept it because I didn't want to get rid of it so it's literally been behind this shed for years and um, so I did buy these legs off either Amazon or eBay I can't remember about 15 pounds oh and this candle this was from Morrison's garden candle citronella this I've had a couple of years it's lavender it's never actually flowered but maybe this might be the uh got the um, sunflower from Morrison's that needs a proper pot but I haven't got one um, and then these plants were all two for three pounds and then these are herbs which I'm hoping will grow soon and then these are some kind of purple flowers but I can't remember what they are um, and the reason I put the cling film over them is because really they're meant to be started on a windowsill um, but I don't have a windowsill so it might work it might not work but there we go and then this is Nesca's digging box which is an absolute mess already this is all the lining sheet that she's already dug up dug, dug up um but she does absolutely love it she causes an absolute mess but it keeps her busy and um yeah I think it's it's good for her mind so there we go there's my little little uh garden there so yeah just a bit of paint like I said I did buy the legs and I did buy the plant but other than that everything else has just been you know was already mine and I've just upcycled and painted show you shit corner so yeah originally there was an outside toilet here which belonged to this house and then there was my outside toilet and then there was my I think it was like a coal shed or something so basically Two thirds belongs to me, a third belongs to next door, and then this bit in the middle to the gate is basically unregistered land. Um, but yeah, that's where next door put the table and chairs. But we have to use that gate because that's the only um, access, and when Matt goes out on his bike and stuff, so yeah, it's just a shame about that, really. It is quarter to three and we are off out on a walk now. I'm out my Ness. Oh, she's very excited. Come on, Ness. Come on. Good girl. Wait, wait. What a mess. Well, it's ten past five, so surely that can only mean one thing. PJs and beer, I reckon. Not you oh she's falling asleep. Oh the sleepy girl. Oh she's so sleepy. Oh no, it's tough, isn't it? It's a tough old life. Yeah, I think I'll go and put my PJs on and have a beer. Why not? Matt um just out here doing something with his car i've just helped him do something with his car um something with his car i'm, I'm 
sound like I'm like being really vague on purpose. He um just stuck the um VW badge on the back. Um I helped him do that. Um and now he's just um something to do with speakers, but I couldn't couldn't tell you what exactly. Right then, let's go put my PJs on. Or oh, definitely my PJ bottoms anyway. What says you, Nesta? You're so lucky just being naked all the time. You must be very comfortable all the time. Amazing. So it's now nine o'clock. I am just about to serve tea. We're having spaghetti bolognese. Garlic bread is in the oven. Um, but before I do that, the reason we're eating so late is because Matt's only just got back from his walk about half an hour ago. Um, so yeah, because he's getting up dead late at the moment. He got into like, he was like in a really bad routine. Then he got into quite a good routine and now he's like gone back to a bad routine. Well, I say a bad routine. Is it bad? I don't know. Who's to say really? But when I say bad routine, I mean like getting up late, but does it really matter? Not really. Um, so anyway, but I thought I'd show you my um, backyard with the lights all on because I think that's when it looks its best, in my opinion. So here it is with all the, all the lights on. There's next door side. Well, I think it's pretty. And there's Dexter making a racket in the background, as always. <laughs> Don't you should love him. And here is tonight's tea. It's bit of on nose and garlic bread. Quite gigantic portions, as always. But there we go. 